calls himself a landlord. <laughs> that Jesse Sim was ever dared pull anything like this with Mother. She knew how to handle that swine. Three days. Three days and he sends me out there. He knows I can't go out there. Like it in here, safe in here. Parasites out there, horrible, stinking, putrid people that live to drink their beer and copulate with each other. When you go out there, bad things happen. I mean, you understand me, don't you? I mean, you wouldn't be tied to a chair right now if you stayed indoors. I suppose you're wondering where you fit into all this exactly. Well, you're lucky, really. I used to do this for fun back in the day. Mum used to help. She'd bring people back for me. She's always very proud of the fact I had a hobby. Every young boy should have a hobby, she'd say. But this is different. You're, uh, you're serving a much greater purpose. There's a girl next door, you see. She just moved in. Pretty little thing she is. Divorcee. She popped round to say hello the other day, and before I knew it, <laughs> I'd invited her around for a meal tomorrow night. I must say, I had intended to cook us an Italian. <laughs> it looks like we're having Indian instead. <laughs> Give me uh, just a sec. I've, I've spilt some uh, red wine and I've, I've got to get it now or else it'll stay. Now, stay there. Hello, dear. You're a day early. I'm sure we said Friday. No, no, you're right. You're right. We did say Friday. I was just, I was just hanging out next door, you know, having a beer and chucking some pictures up. And um, I realised I was banging away on your wall. What a cow! So I thought I'd just check if I wasn't disturbing you or anything. Oh uh, no. No, you bang away. Okay. Just making sure. It all uh, coming together through there, is it? Um, unpacked and such? No, not not really. Kind of creeped out actually by how much stuff I have, you know? That and the whole bit lonely. I probably just need a break. <laughs> nice cup of tea. That or a shag. Would you like a cup of tea? Murder one. Just really needed to get out, you know what I mean? Change a scene. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Shoes off, please. Oh, sorry. Hey. Nice boots. Yes, they're definitely mine. Uh, if you'd like to uh, park yourself through there, the Thank living room. <laughs> it's so nice to be in a normal looking place. I'm really struggling to figure out where everything goes. It's my clothes that are taking forever. It's like outfits just laying about like dead bodies. Oh, uh, sounds uh, like hell, I'm sure. I've lived here since I was a kid, you see. I don't really remember uh, living in our old house. Uh, I'll 
I'll pop the kettle on. Uh, do you take milk and sugar? Yeah, um, milk and one sugar. You had a lot of jobs then? Uh, oh no, no, they're, uh, they're uh, souvenirs. Horror Appreciation Award for Best Article. Are you a writer then? Uh, yes, occasionally. Uh, um, online stuff mainly. Get in? God, I love a bloody good horror. I got scared shitless at the weekend. What was the last horror film you saw at the cinema? Uh, that would be The Fly. Yes, 1986. I don't get out much. <laughs> You're a video shop lover. So am I, actually. Yeah, practically lived at the video shop when I was a kid. Yeah, me, too, when I was young. Uh, I learned a lot from nightmares in a damaged brain. I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> you are wicked! Mm. You're gonna have to keep a swift eye on you, aren't I, mister? That would probably be best. <laughs> Ah, yes, uh, the Highness. It's ergonomic sofa. Uh, Mum, uh, bless her, she had a really bad back. Ugh. Oh, has she been gone long? Uh, yeah, yeah, two years now. Um, still not really used to it. Um, she did so much for me. How did she go? Heart stopped. Oh, you mean, uh, your cause of death, uh, uh, food poisoning. Oh, God, horrible. Yeah. Really horrible. Bad. Oh, God. What? What is it? It's just the, uh, red wine I spilled. I've missed a bit, and, uh, <laughs> you wait there, and I'll get something to, uh, to deal with that. You're too early, Elizabeth. Far too early. Hello there. Yes, I'd like to report some murders, please. Gregory Brewster, it is the opinion of this court that you have shown no remorse for your grisly actions towards Elizabeth Campbell, Kunal Sharma, and the 16 other individuals you proudly lay claim to have murdered between 1990 and 2009. I sentence you to life imprisonment with the recommendation that you serve a whole life term. You will spend the remainder of your natural life behind locked doors and never set foot in the outside world again. Take him down. All right, come on you. Out to the exercise yard. <laughs> 